So, welcome back. So, in the previous uh, lecture, we discussed about the opening of the, the rift valley in African continent and the location of the triple junction, where three plates are moving away from one another and the example which we were talking about that this movement, where the Arabian plate is moving away from the, the, the eastern portion of the African plate is giving rise to the opening or further opening of the Gulf of Aden and here the African plate and the Arabian plate which, which are moving away from one another are giving rise to the opening of a Red Sea. Now, we will also see one example of transform fault which has been shown here at this location which is again the, the, the product or which has been produced because of the movement of this plate that's, that is your African plate and movement of the Arabian plate. Arabian plate is moving in this direction and the African plate is moving in this direction and this movement has given rise to the displacement or the formation of the transform fault over here. And this fault system has been termed as the Dead Sea fault system. This is well evident by the movement between the Arabian plate which shows here that the Arabian plate is moving this in this direction and the African plate is moving in this direction resulting into the lateral movement along this margin. And this is well evident by the occurrence of the earthquakes which are aligned along this plate boundary. Now, coming to the subtraction zone, as we were talking about, so previously we covered the mid oceanic centers or the mid Atlantic ridge and the triple junction and the splitting up of the island. Now, this is the part of the subtraction zone where one plate is subtracting below the another one. And this example which has been shown is between the oceanic oceanic plate and the oceanic plate in the front and with the continental plate over here. So, this portion is of continental plate or continent interior and this is the, the oceanic plate which is subtracting below the portion of the continental plate. So, this has given rise to a volcanic eruptions on the surface and the example which has been shown here is between the Nazca plate and South American plate and the mountains which you see aligned along the South American plate are the Andes and the volcanoes which are aligned along the plate boundary. So, along the this subtraction zone that is the subtraction taking place between the Nazca plate and the, the South American plate, the Andes mountain which have been seen here are marvelous. Now, one more example of the spreading center which has been seen on the surface is of the, the example of the divergent plate boundary is in Iceland. So, the volcanic distribution of the volcanic eruption are can be seen or the magma which is coming right up to the surface is can be seen in two ways. One is along the volcanoes and second is along the divergent plate boundaries. So, this is the example the island of Iceland exposes a segment of the submerged mid Atlantic ridge allowing geologists to view the process of plate separation 
and sea floor spreading directly very much similar to what we were looking right now and few slides before or in the previous lecture on the opening of the rift in African subcontinent. So, this is the example which shows the, the signature of the mid oceanic ridge which is seen on the surface on one of the island that is Iceland which shows the example of the two plates moving away from one another. So, this is an example of mid Atlantic ridge on the surface. And the location which has been shown here is through this location. So, this is the location of the Iceland and the mid Atlantic ridge which passes through this one. So, again the same one the, the example of oceanic and continental plate, Nazca plate and South American plate where the oceanic plate is subducting below the continental plate which has given rise to the Indus mountain and the volcanic arc on the continental crust. And one common feature which we will find in both the situations whether it is oceanic, oceanic convergence or oceanic continental is the trench and this portion that is at the contact between the two plates is termed as trench and the best example of trench the deepest part is the Mariana trench. So, when an oceanic plate collide with the continental plate the plate carrying the heavier oceanic crust will slide beneath the continental crust which is comparatively lighter and melt into mental forming a subduction zone. So, this will form a subduction zone and as it moves or subduct below it will melt and give rise to an volcanic arc on the surface. Numerous narrow trenches thousands of kilometer long about 8 to 10 kilometer deep are located at the Pacific Ocean. Now, one of the trench which is comparatively shallower, but this also exists between the South American plate and the Peru Chile trench. South American that is the, it is named as Peru Chile trench. Trenches are deepest part of the ocean floor and are created by subduction. Example one is volcanic arc, alpine chain, Andes mountain, west coast of Mexico, Cascadia's Pacific North, western United States. So, these are the examples which you can see of volcanic arc which are developed because of the oceanic and continental subduction zone. So, this is an example of the subduction zone which exists between the Nazca plate and the South American plate and the bowl line which has been seen here is the deeper part as compared to the both, both the plates because it is darker and this is the deeper part which marks the trench and the contact between the two plate Nazca plate and the South American plate and the Indus mountain runs almost along this one which also comprises several active volcanoes and one of the active volcanoes. So, this again the Google image the previous one was also Google image and this is also Google image which shows the location of trench over here and these are the two plates one is oceanic plate another continental plate and this whitish portion are the snow peaks or the volcanoes or the mountains covered by snow. So, one of the, the volcanic cones or few are shown here. So, these are the active volcanoes. This is the same ex the example of the active volcano a term named as Osarno volcano of Chile. So, this portion 
which we, we you are able to see is the Osarno volcano in Chile and it resembles or similar appearance to the Mount Fuji of Japan. This is another one. So, oceanic crust subtracting below the oceanic crust. So, the heavier one will subduct below and similar what the volcanic arc has been seen on the continental crust, it will also been seen as island arc on the oceanic crust. Now, this is one of the best example which shows the plate motion over the, the hot spot. So, if you remember we are talking about the hot spot and this is one of the best example which also helps in understanding that the plates have moved from its original location and have been moving over the time. So, this shows the location of active volcano and the dormant volcanoes. These are all dormant volcanoes and this portion is active volcano in Hawaii. So, this is Hawaii chain of islands which were active in the past while passing over the hot spot beneath. So, hot spot an absolute motion which was been given based on the location of the active volcanoes and the dormant volcanoes. So, this happened when Dana in 19th century an American geologist observed that the age of extinct volcanoes in the Hawaiian island chain increases as one gets farther away from the active volcanoes on the big island. So, this is the big island over here and one if one moves away from the big island then they found that the observation was that the, the volcanoes become older. Earthquake occurrence only near the active volcano was experienced. So, this is another additional example or the signature which shows that the activity is only along the, the active volcanoes of the earthquakes as well as it, it is young in, in terms of the age also. And in 1960, Wilson proposed that a long lived hot spot lies anchored deep in the mental beneath the Hawaii. So, below the Hawaii island there is a hot spot which is continuously supplying the lava on the surface which is resulting into the, the volcanic eruption on the surface. So, as the plate moves the older volcanoes dies out and become dormant. So, a hot buoyant plume of mental rock continually rise from the hot spots partially melting to form magma at the bottom of the lithosphere, magma that feeds Hawaii's active volcanoes. If the sea floor moves over the mantle plume, an active volcano could remain over the magma source only for about a million years. So, after million years the plate will must have moved ahead and the new volcano will start forming. So, this is an absolute motion theory which talks about the, the volcanic chain and, and the active plume or the magma chamber which is sitting below the Hawaii and chain of islands. 
Now, further strengthening of the evidence of the plate motion was been achieved based on the change in the direction of the islands which are aligned along this. So, this also shows that one point of time the plate direction or the motion changed from one direction to another direction. So, this at present the movement of the plate is in almost east northeast direction whereas, earlier it was close to north south and as one moves from the active big island of the Hawaii the age becomes older. So, you have 25 million years over here in the midway whereas, here it is 2 to 3 million years and further it is around 43 million years at the junction over here. So, this also shows that if you move away from the center of the active volcano over here in Hawaii the age increases. So, this shows that the Pacific plate has moved north west over the Hawaiian hotspot. So, hotspot exists here and the over the hotspot the plate has moved. So, this is the it is west the direction is this direction is your west northwest or you can say it is west north and this is almost north south. And this resulted in a chain of volcanic islands and sea mounds. So, this whole portion shows this and this was the point and if you take where the this change in the angle this was the point at 43 million years back the change in the direction occurred. So, the sharp change in the direction has been dated at about 43 million years and the ages of the mountains are consistent with the plate movement of about 100 millimeter per year. So, the plate motion is 100 millimeter per year and this will this has been moving because based on the ages they also worked out the what is the, the movement of the or the velocity of the plate which is moving over the hot spot. So, this is these are few examples which shows the clear cut indication or the evidence or signatures that the plates are moving from one place to another place and plates are also diverging from or the spreading along the spreading centers or they are splitting aloud away from one another along the rift valleys like what we have seen in Africa. So, African plate shows the rift valley where the two plates are splitting with respect to one another and the Hawaiian islands chain shows that the movement of oceanic plate over the hot spot and also this plates are capable in changing the their direction. Coming to the oceanic oceanic convergence, when oceanic oceanic plate converge the heavier older will slide under the lighter one and similarly you will be able to see the formation of the the volcanoes on the overriding plate and this will happen because the subtracting plate will melt in the deeper part of the mantle resulting into the formation of volcanoes.
And similarly, what we see the example of such plate boundaries are along Japan, West Indies, Eleutian Islands, Philippine Islands, Indonesia, Central America. And the best example of the trench that is the most deepest portion on the earth is the trench, Mariana Trench, which is 11,035 meter deep and this exists between the Philippine plate and the Pacific plate. So, the Pacific plate is subtracting below the Philippine plate at a very high angle and this has given rise to the deepest part or the deepest portion on the earth and it is almost 11,035 meters deep which exists between the, the Philippine plate and the Pacific plate. Further, similar trench but not so deep at the subduction zone also exist between the Sumatra at the Indo-Australian plate and the Burmese micro plate and this was one of the plate boundary which was responsible in generating the mega subtraction zone earthquake of 2004 that is the 2004 Sumatra Andaman earthquake which occurred along the Sumatra Andaman trench. The magnitude was 9.3. So, this is the location of the trench which exists between the Indo-Australian plate and the Burmese micro plate and this circular fe features or the, the pitch and ball diagrams which you see here are the location of the or the fault plane solution of the occurrence of earthquakes and that big star over here shows the location of 2004 mega earthquake. Continental continental convergence and collision. Now, this is the plate boundary which exists between the two continents. So, either you call this as a collision zone or the zone along which initially subtraction took place and later there was collision. Now, why we call collision? Because both the continental crust are of similar density. So, one of the reason when two continental plates meet head on they they meet or they, they will collide, but neither is subtracted because continental rocks are relatively light and like two colliding icebergs resist downward motion. Hence, when two continents collide or meet each other, then what we see is the collision. So, the boundary between the, him, the, the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate is the collision plate boundary or we can say convergent because that earlier ancient oceanic crust subducted. So, the, the original process was subduction and then the collision. Now, because of the collision, the crust tends to become thicker and it buckles up, upward as well as sideward. So, this will grow sideward as well as upward. And further, if you remember, we are talking about in the isostasy that this portion will thicken up. So, the roots will be deeper into the asthenosphere.
So, type of convergent plate boundaries or the collision plate boundaries R 1 is Alps, then Himalayas and Appalachians. These are the three spectacular mountain chains or the ranges which are the example of convergent plate boundaries or the collision plate boundaries. So, Himalayas the collision plate boundary which exists between the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate. So, what we see here is that initially the Indian plate subducted below the continental plate of Eurasia. So, initially again when the oceanic plate was subducting below the continental plate we had volcanic eruptions and the sea portion or the portion of the oceanic plate occupied by the Tethys sea started, started closing up and finally, what we see is the buckling up of the, the continental crust because of the collision and the, the oceanic crust which subducted it broke off. So, broken off lithosphere continues to sink whereas, the collision when it started it resulted into the closing up of the Tethys sea and then formation of new basin at the, the plate boundary which is termed as the Indo Gangetic plain. So, we will stop here and we will continue in the next lecture and talk about the, the formation of the Himalaya with few more slides. Thank you so much.